In this video, we're going to talk about prime polynomials. Before we talk about prime polynomials, we'll talk about what prime numbers are. So a prime number is a number whose only factors are 1 and itself. So numbers like 2, 3, 5, 7 are the first couple of prime numbers. A polynomial with integer coefficients that cannot be factored into polynomials of lower degree with rational coefficients is called a prime polynomial. So just like we can't take 7 and break it down into a product of any other two integers besides 1 and 7, the same is true of prime polynomials. We can't split them down into polynomial factors of lower degree. So like a number that's not prime, something like 10, we can break this down into 2 times 5. We can't do that with 7. Same thing with prime polynomials. We're not going to be able to factor them. Now note, polynomials that we're considering prime may be factorable using irrational or imaginary numbers. So they can be factored, we just call them prime because we can't factor them into polynomials of lower degree with rational coefficients. We're not going to be looking at imaginary numbers in this class at all, so you can forget everything you learned about them for this class. The irrational stuff is going to come a little bit later in the course. Now we'll talk about how to determine if a polynomial is prime. When attempting to factor a polynomial using the AC method, if no factors of AC sum to B, the polynomial is prime. Look at this example here, x squared plus 100. We could rewrite this as 1x squared plus 0x plus 100. Our a is 1, our b is 0, and our c is 100. So if we were to factor this using ac, ac would be equal to 1 times 100, which is just 100. And now we would want to find two factors of positive 100 that add to 0. So let's start writing out some factors of 100, you know, 2 and 50. We have 10 and 10. It is a perfect square. But 10 plus 10 is 20. We could do negative 10 and negative 10, but those add to negative 20. There are more factors of 100, but we're not going to find any factors of 100, positive 100, that add to 0. So here at this point, we would say this polynomial is prime. We cannot factor this into polynomials a lower degree with rational coefficients. Let's look at two more examples. Let's say we wanted to factor m squared plus 3m plus 24. a is 1, b is 3, c is 24. ac, 1 times 24, is equal to positive 24. We would want to find two factors of positive 24 that add up to positive 3. So we have 6 and 3, negative 6, negative 3, 12 and 2, negative 12, negative 2, 1 and 24, negative 1, negative 24, and none of these sum to positive 3. Now, one thing I'll mention, don't be quick to jump to assuming a polynomial is prime just because you're having difficulty with AC method. Make sure that you've gone through all of the factors before coming to the conclusion that a polynomial is prime and cannot be factored. Now we'll take a look at this example. Here we can factor out a GCF before we do anything else. They all have a factor of 5 in common. If we try to do a C method over here, we end up with 4 times negative 3 equal to negative 12. Now we would want to find factors of negative 12 that add up to positive 6. And none of these factors, we've gone through all of them, add up to positive 6. So this polynomial would be prime. 